Let's to first meet the starting five of your Ateneo Blue Eagles. At forward number three, Romeo Evdane. At guard number seven, Dante Prado. The other guard number 11, Gerard Urbina. The other forward number 19, Joaquim de Guzman. And at center, number 24, Christian Porter. Their head coach is Reggie Varilla. Here now is the starting lineup of your UPIS, Junior Maroons. At forward, number two, Ethan Egea. The other forward, number three, Bruce Tubombanwa. At center, number 15, Jaime Gomez Del Llano. At guard, number 18, Rocco Melicor. And the other guard, number 19, Daryl Valdeavilla. Their head coach is Paulo Mendoza. Officiating this volume, our crew chief, Fernando Manala. Umpire one, Alan Baria. And umpire two, Brian Escario. In our starting lineups for the Blue Eagles, Prado will start alongside Urbina, Evdane, De Guzman, and Chris Porter at center for the Blue Eagles. Meanwhile, Valde Avilla will start alongside Melicor, Egea, Tubong Banua, and Gomez de Liano at center now for the Fighting Maroons. Our officials, Manyalak, Baria, and Escario will be our officiating crew controlling things here for both of these teams. And here we go. First quarter action, and the opening tip for the opening game of our season here in UAP Season 86 Juniors Basketball. An opening possession here for Ateneo, and a quick bucket for the Blue Eagles, Gerald. That was a triple team on Chris Porter early in the ball game, and an easy assist for him, locating his teammate for the first basket of this season. Ateneo showing a lot of uh, energy right out of the gates here. And that's something that you expect from the juniors division, isn't it, Gerald? Just high pace, high intensity offense. That's right, because it's 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 the sheer excitement of these players. They've been practicing, working out, improving their craft um, for the past few months. And this is uh, the exact platform that they're preparing for. One second now on the shot clock here for Ateneo. It'll be a tough shot to get off, but we'll see how they do here. And Ateneo gets the shot in to go. That will count. De Guzman got it off in time. Back-to-back -back baskets there by De Guzman, but what a spin move just in, just in time to make that basket. Valdi Avilla fires for three. No good there. Scramble for the rebound between Gomez Deliano and Porter. It'll stay with UP. Two big names here, Gomez Deliano and Porter. We we know that we, we of course know these players from their because of their brothers, so they have big shoes to fill in. Ang sabi ko ngay, parang ang familiar nung sinasabi natin yung Chris Porter and Gomez Deliano as Valde Avilla hits the three there to open up things for UP. The rookie of the year continuing where he left off. First three of the ball game. A shot blocked there at the rim by UP. Here come the fighting the junior fighting maroons and a foul is called. And it's gonna be a blocking foul on the Blue Eagles. Prado will get called for that one. As Egea is at the line now to shoot some free throws. So, Jarrell, with these two teams, obviously there's a lot of expectations, uh, especially coming into the new season. How do you, as a player, you know, start a season right and uh, start it well enough, and how do you build upon that as the season progresses? You want to bring in the energy. It's all about the energy because that energy eventually translates to the to your confidence as a player, right? If you if you bring in the energy, you create stops. You can attain defensively. You bring that confidence that you belong in the league. You can perform in the league. Then eventually, it will continue to translate. Well, as we've seen throughout the first few minutes of this this game, these two teams do not lack energy whatsoever. Up ahead, pass by Valdia Villa. Shot on the inside is good for UP and an and one opportunity coming their way. A really strong start as we see Valdia Villa pushing the ball, advances the ball off to 
this easy shot, foul counted basket over Chris Porter. You know, Tubong Banua gets that one to go. And like you mentioned, over Chris Porter, not an easy task to do. And UP showing some good fight here earlier on. So I think the game's strong for the fighting, uh, the junior fighting Maroons rather. Off to an 8 4 start. Chris Porter, Ateneo swinging it around. Prado with the ball. Ateneo has 11, 10 seconds now to shoot. Prado in the corner for three. That's no good. Rebound to Egea. Great box out there by the young GDL Jaime over Chris Porter. Well, the Avilia taking it all the way to the hoop. Cannot get it to drop. And the Blue Eagles with the rebound. Corner. Three is good by Prado. And that gets it to drop and cuts the lead down to one. That was a great setup there by Ebdane. Off to the corner for uh, for the for Ateneo's first three in the ball game. An offensive foul called on Melikor as you see the replay here, Gerald. Look at that. It was a great set uh, set up by Chris Porter, setting that pick to Abdane. Off to a kick out to, to Prado for an easy three. So Ateneo showing some good promise on uh, those uh, three point lines. And how important is it to? get your shooting stroke as a junior in the UAP how important is it to find that shooting stroke earlier er, very very early on in your career it's important to develop the right habits when, when you work on your shot right? that, that's the important thing because those are the habits that you carry on as you enter the seniors division so it's really important especially in, in, in the game like here we saw we saw his, his shooting stroke from Julio Prado right so it's things that you work on Continue, continuously work, work on and then eventually you bring to the game. What were your good habits uh, in your shooting practice uh, <laughs> when you were when you were in high school but also when you progressed into college? I, I like to start my shooting, um, working on my shooting form. So I really start um, near to the basket and just really work on the form, the shooting mechanic and eventually progress farther and farther and then, do, and then that's where I work on my rep. And then eventually you try the half-court shot at the end. No. no, no. <laughs> Back in our days, Stephen Curry was just you know about the right. It was, it was just rising. So was, we wasn't a thing yet. Wasn't a thing yet. We didn't know about those logo shots yet. <laughs> Corner triple by Dubon Bainua gets it to drop, and he is off to a good start here for the fight, junior fighting Maroons. Right, six straight points already for Dubon Bainua early in this ball game. Chris Porter with the second opportunity cannot get it to drop, but a foul will be called on UP. So you look at this replay, Ateneo putting on a press, easily broken off by Egea, off to a kick out to Tubong Banua for that three. Tubong Banua already with six points now in this ball game for UP, and Chris Porter now. At the line for Ateneo. Makes the second freebie. Yeah. Ties this game at 11. What about Chris Porter? I mean, looking, looking at him right now, he's like a man amongst boys here. His size, and he, he looks really confident coming into this game. I know there's this thing where you know, people like to talk about the, having the strength to be ready for the junior, for the seniors division. Do you think Chris Porter has that in him? Definitely, he has the size that's already ready for the seniors division. It's just that he needs to work on some asset facets of his game, perhaps his his defense in terms of um, his footwork, because he's going to have to adjust to a smaller position when he go, when he goes to the senior division. Another foul drawn by Ateneo on UP. And that's going to be more free throws coming the Blue Eagles way as Urbina is at the line now for Ateneo. We've seen th this Blue Eagles team getting it to the getting into the paint using their size to draw fouls. 
and UP just having trouble not fouling uh, Atenea right now. Coming into the game, we, we were watching them, bo we were watching both teams warm up and we saw how much bigger the Blue Eagles are, the Blue, Blue Eaglets are compared to the Junior Fighting Maroons. So they're just really taking advantage of it, you know, using their size, getting into the paint and drawing those fouls. Now if you're UP, Jarrell, and you don't have the size that Ateneo has, what do you do to try and combat that? You have to combat that through your speed. You know, that's, that's exactly what the Junior Fighting Maroons are doing right now. They're trying to push the pace and because that's the only advantage they have versus the Eaglets. Melikor fires from downtown. That's offline. Porter with the rebound. Medina with the ball gets it into the corner. Now inside to Porter. Triple by De Los Santos is no good. Porter with an offensive rebound still can get it to go. And De Los Santos trying to save it, but it'll be UP's ball. Look at this replay. Valdevilla just losing the ball off to an easy fast break place for Ebdane. Nice move and strong move to the basket by Ateneo on that end. On the other end, Valdia Villa gets hacked and he'll shoot free throws now for UP. Making up for that previous turnover that we saw there. Valdia Villa continuing to be aggressive for the junior fighting Maroons and that's what he needs. He needs to lead this team, show that he's, he has the energy, that he's not scared of anyone and it's eventually going to rub off to his teammates. Now as a player, Jarrell, how, what's the mindset now of Valdia Villa as you know, like we mentioned in, in the pregame, this is going to be a year where he's going to have a lot of the load, a lot of the heavy lifting now um, compared to, to last season. So how, as a player, what's it like mentally taking that kind of role? You just need to bring in the confidence if you're Valdivilla. You know, you know that you've proven it already in the UAAP, winning the Rookie of the Year on your very first playing year, and you really showed off. So going into this year, you just need to continue that aggressiveness and show your teammates that, you know, despite being, despite playing for your very first year, you just have to take those shots, be confident about your skill. Here's Urbina kicking it out in the corner. Right back inside. Ateneo finds De Los Santos in the corner. Urbina fires for three, and that's good. What great ball movement that was. Inside and out for that extra pass there. Meanwhile, on the other end, Tubong Banwa continuing the aggression on UP's side. This time gets fouled and draws it. Look at this replay. Great kick out, then an extra pass to the corner. We call those hockey assists for Ebdane in that play. And it doesn't count on the stat sheets, but it's what made the assist possible. That's right. So. In the NBA, they actually count the hockey assists too because it's just as important as an assist because it's the setup before the shot. Yeah, I hope in a you know, fantasy draft, like they count hockey assists. I, I feel like I'd, I'd be winning with, with the players that I have <laughs> on my fantasy team. Who's the best player you have? <laughs> we'll, we'll save that for later. For later, for later. <laughs> 20 to 16 is our score now. A four point lead here for the Blue Eagles. Urbina fires for a three. Can't get it that time. Offensive rebound. Ateneo gets that shot blocked. And UP with the ball. Gomez Eliano, nice pass to the cutting. Tubong Banua, who lays it up and in. Tubong Banua feeling it this early in the ball game. He's been leading the junior fighting Maroons so far. Now leading the charge, keeping things close here against the Blue Eagles. But right on cue, Lagdamen hits it from downtown and makes it a four point game. Answering that basket by Tubo Banoa. What a game we have so far, Kobe. 23 to 19 with three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Well, Jairo, might I remind you, it's 8 a.m. <laughs> on a Tuesday, and and these these boys are playing as if it's uh it's 6 p.m. on a Saturday night. <laughs> Looks like they've warmed up really well this this early on, and we were talking off air how 8 a.m. games are so early and yet. 
these guys are, are heating up this early with De Los Santos hitting another three for the Blue Eaglets. A seven point lead now after that three from De Los Santos. Valdiavilla though puts an end to the run here by the Blue Eagles. And another answer there. We're having a lot of back, back and forth this early on. Triple again, Damen can't get it to drop. De Los Santos gets called for the offensive foul. Push there by De Los Santos. As we look at this replay, Valdivilla, one two dribble pull up, sinks it. And that's a shot. That's a shot. Valdivilla showing exactly why he won that. Season 85 Rookie of the Year honors. It's already showing a lot of maturity here in uh, the opening game. It's a small sample size when, when you look at his body of work so far in his UAP career. But how impressed have you been, Jarrell, with his growth and also his maturity as, as a player now in year two? Very, very impressed with the exit of Kobe Demisa Demisana, of course, their leader last year. He knows that he needs to step up. And he's showing it here, really taking charge for them, really looking for his shots, getting his teammates open. And that's a really good sign for Coach Pao and the Junior Fighting Maroons. Coach Pao will take a timeout here. We'll take a break. Back in the ball game, the Ateneo Blue Eagles have a three-point lead here against the Junior Fighting Maroons. And Jarl, we've seen already about eight minutes of basketball being played here in the juniors division. Feels like 80 minutes, but <laughs> what is this Ateneo team doing to, you know, keep a, 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 this minute gap between UP? But what it, has UP been doing? in keeping it close uh, against this uh, Ateneo team. For the Blue Eagles, they're really moving the ball. And that's what we're really seeing this early on. But for the Junior Fighting Maroons, on the other hand, what we're seeing is that they're really trying to push the pace, looking for their fast break points. As we see, a three-point shot by Madranca. Well, that was another triple going down for Ateneo. They have really been letting it loose from downtown and making a high percentage of those shots. Corner triple, no good that time by Madranca. Looking for that back-to-back -back threes, Madranca. As we see, a great move by the young Ziv Espinas there. Oh, but they'll call a travel on Espinas. Oh. So a shot will not count for him, unfortunately. unfortunately. But that was a great move by the young kid. 29 to 23 now. Here's Valdiavilla with it. Valdiavilla fires for three. Shot might have gotten partially blocked. And here come the Blue Eagles. Pass inside. Reverse. Shot no good that time. And UP with another possession. Great defense there by the junior fighting Maroons. Guapa Melikor fires from downtown. That's offline. And Ateneo with a rebound. Ateneo running. Floater in the lane. No good. Offensive rebound by Suiko. <laughs> Jump ball was called. Possession arrow points to UP. So that'll mean another possession here for the junior fighting Maroons. Hernandez has checked into the game now. Oh, the UP throws it right back to Ateneo's side. An early man-to-man -man press there by the Blue Eagles, forcing that third over. Still a seven-point lead here for the Blue Eagles. Lagdamen finds Espinas. And this time, that counts for Ziv Espinas. And an end one opportunity for him. A great aggressive drive and dish for Lagdaman. Drawing Jaime GDL. 
for that easy drop pass to Ziva Spinas and that foul counted basket. Uh, Spinas getting denied the end one opportunity earlier on. Finally gets it this time. And he makes the free throw to complete the three point play. Ateneo with the press. Agea getting pounded here. Valdiavilla with a sidestep floater in the lane. <laughs> Offhand finish for the young kid. He can do it on both hands. Melikor puts it up. Floater no, but there will be free throws on the way. Morocco Melikor. Look at this replay. Divis Vinas, what a tough finish with the offhand. Well, we've seen Ateneo get to that lane and get into the paint numerous times already here in the first quarter. But they've also been shooting well from downtown, Jarrell. Doing it on both inside and out. We were talking about how Ateneo is, is much bigger compared to the UPIS squad. But despite that, they can still hit it off from outside. Well, the Battle of Katipunan waking us up earlier on here in the Amaranta Sports Complex. Melikor. Can't get that second free throw to go. And here come the Blue Eagles, Suwiko, with the ball in his hands. Suwiko drives, and an offensive foul called on the Blue Eagles. Using the offhand there with a push. That's why he was called for an offensive foul. Good call by the referees. will now check in here for Ateneo as we have about 22 seconds to go here in the first quarter UP with possession here and Melikor will bring it down shot clock turned off a chance at the final shot at the buzzer Melikor puts it up lay in no good and a foul called underneath That was Igea who got called on that. His second foul of the ball game for Igea. And Gomez Deliano will check in for this final 10.8 of the first quarter as Div Espinas is at the line now for the Blue Eagles. Uh, Espinas showing some great minutes here for this Ateneo team already with five points in the ball game early entry for Espina since Chris Porter got his second foul De Los Santos will now check into the game along with De Guzman UP with the ball 10.8 on the game clock here in the first quarter Melikor, that pass is intercepted by Espinas. Tried to get it to Jaime GDL in the corner. So now it'll be 3.8 for UP. Melikor, double team. Melikor puts it up, no go, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. What a, what a hot start by both teams we have here. 35 to 25. Well, it's a 10 point lead now for Ateneo after that first quarter. Break down what happened here in the first 10 minutes, Gerald. We have a hot start by both teams, but Ateneo Blue Eagles really looking to pound the paint this early on, while the Junior Fighting Maroons looking to push the ball, as we saw in that play there. But aside from that, the Blue Eagles also hitting it from outside, you know, setting up their teammates, doing those kickouts, and of course, the leader of the fighting Mar Junior Fighting Maroons, Valdia Villa, off to showcase his sweet moves. And a 
lot of sweet moves already from Valdi Avila on that UP side. We'll see how the Fighting Maroons answer in the second. We'll take a break. I see the fans out early here at the Amoranto Sports Complex. All in support for these two teams in front of us this morning. The Ateneo Blue Eagles and the UPIS Junior Fighting Maroons. It's the second quarter here as we kick things off with a possession for Ateneo. Kobe Dio here on the panel joined by Gerald Lim. And Gerald, how has Ateneo ballooned to this 10-point lead and how does UP fight back here in the second quarter? Well, the Blue Eagles, they've been really sharing the ball either off a drop pass or a kick out to the three. They're just really getting those easy, easy looks for their teammates. But on the other hand, the junior fighting Maroons are, are really aggressive. You know, they're, they're taking their shots, they're pushing the ball, looking for their fast break, looking for the fast break. And if they've been looking to their key guy, Daryl Valde Avilia, but also uh, Lino Tubongbanua has been contributing as well here for the Junior Fighting Maroons as Jaime GDL gets that floater in to drop off the assist from Valdia Villa. On point there, Kobe for Valdia Villa, setting it up for his teammate for an easy look. A steal here by Hernandez. Hernandez puts it up and gets that one to drop. And just like that, the lead is cut down to six. A quick 4 0 run to start the second quarter. Good, a good sign for the junior fighting Maroons. Corrado gets called for the travel. That's going to be UP's ball. So look at that. Crossover, drawing Zivespinas off a drop pass to Jaime GDL. And just the attention that Valdia Villa asked for. Uh, and see this play from uh, Hernandez with a sweet lay in on the inside. Forcing that turnover and pushing the ball for that fast break. Espinas looking for teammates. Finds De Los Santos wide open. Nice pass there from Ziv Espinas. Great look there by Espinas. But just the activity of the kids. As we see a great shot by Melikor there. You look at this replay. Melikor pushing the ball, looking to pass, then suddenly deciding to take that shot. Good balance there and a tough shot for Melikor. Well, Melikor will have some time before that free throw as Ateneo takes a timeout. Well, the fans on the UP side as well. All out in support here for the Junior Fighting Maroons. Their squad is down by six, but Chipping a little bit away here, Gerald, getting back into this game by stringing together a couple of runs. That's right. We see the aggressiveness for this UPIS squad. They're really pushing the ball against them, forcing turnovers also for the Blue Eagles. Urbina tried to get the pass on the inside, but it's stolen here by UP. Melikor with the ball in his hands. Hernandez gets it to Valdia Villa. Valdia Villa pulls up for three. In and out. Ateneo with a rebound. That would have been a big shot for Valdia Villa to cut the lead down to three. Prado open for three. Bang, bang. Speaking of big shots, Prado with a big three to bring their lead back up to nine. And for every shot that the Fighting Maroons have made here in the second quarter. Ateneo has answered with a handful of shots as well. And they have really kept the gap here between the Junior Fighting Maroons. Manikor gets another floater in the lane to drop and cuts the lead down to seven. Back-to-back -back floaters by Melikor. Looks like that is, that's his go-to move. As we see Lagdaman setting it up. Now it's Tupas who got the floater in the lane. And lead back up by nine as a foul is called. Tupac Banwa gets hammered on the inside. You see this replay there, Jarrell. You see Melikor breaking that double team for that floater. And 
back on the other end, a setup to two pass for that easy day. Nagda Man has been doing a great job at fighting his teammates. Already three assists in this ball game. Bambanoa, corner three, no go. Tupas with the rebound. The Eagles will bring it down. Ateneo working. Drive on the inside, they kick it out to De Los Santos. Right back on the inside to Ong. That shot is no good. And a travel called. It's going to be UP's ball. You see a lot of dribble drive action there for the Blue Eagles in that possession. And a thing to note here, Jarl, still no Chris Porter in this uh, second quarter. You see him in the corner warming up. That's right, Kobe. We all know that he already has two fouls in the ball game. And the coaching staff deciding to just, you know, um, rest him up a bit and prepare him, I guess, later on. Get, the ball game. get those fresh legs in <laughs> at the right moment. And when you have fresh legs, especially if it's Chris Porter's legs, then it, that's going to be valuable minutes for Ateneo. Spaldia Villa with a spin move on the inside gets it to fall. That's a crafty move by Valdia Villa there. Two pass. That's a mismatch. Two pass kicks it out. De Los Santos looking for his teammates. De Los Santos drives, puts it up, gets that shot blocked. Ong drives the corner. UP intercepts. And Cor pushing. Valdia Villa for three. No go. Two pass with another rebound for Ateneo. Agdamen, oh, what a pass inside to Ong as he caught Valdia Villa up in the air. Uh, good to see Valdia Villa back up. Could have been a scary fall there, Kobe. But gotta give credit to Lag the man pushing the ball and locating Mikey Ong there. And like we mentioned, he's been doing that very well here for his team. He's attracting a lot of the defense as well. Hit a three earlier. And now. His teammates are at the line. Ong misses the first freebie. Ong now with a second free throw gets that one to fall. Ateneo with a eight point lead. Oh, Tubong Banwa left wide open on the other end and gets an easy deuce. That's exactly what UPIS needs to do. They need to push the ball, get those fast breaks in. And they have really been pushing it, Daryl. Every opportunity they can get. They're looking up ahead every single time. That's right, Toby. <laughs> Looks like it's really their game plan. Agea gets it to Hernandez. Hernandez will wait for his teammates. Gomez de Liano kicks it out. Melicor open for a three. No go. Here come the Blue Eagles. Drive on the inside. No good that time. And another run here for the junior fighting Maroons. Egea inside to Gomez de Leano. That ball is loose, but it'll stay with UP. So UP will have the ball here. 14 seconds on the shot clock for them. The Bongbanwa can't get that mid range jumper to go. Lag the men now with the ball. Corner three on the way. No good that time. Jaime with the rebound. Up ahead pass to Bombanoa. Has the ball in his hands. Drives, puts it up. Can't get the lay in. And Ateneo with another rebound. What a fast game we have here, Kobe. Lots of back and forth for both teams. And two pass. Can't get that three to drop, and that that will slow things down a little bit as they'll take it out of bounds. Nathan Asistro checks into the game. 
a little Chris Porter for the Blue Eagles. Chris still on that sidelines, waiting for his time to return. Coaches do not want to risk him getting that third foul before halftime. So UP with the ball, they're down by six here against the Blue Eagles. Melikor pulls up for three, that's good! And Rocco Melikor draining it from downtown, cutting the lead down to three. What a shot from Melikor, break this down for us, Gerald. That ISO play, off to a pull up three, tough shot. And Melikor was looking at his defense, eye to eye, and just hitting that three point shot. Well, Melikor forces Ateneo to a timeout. All-out support here at the Amaranta Sports Complex for the UP Fighting Maroons. As their cheer squad is out here as well. Their squad is only down by three here, Gerald. What, what did UP do in those last couple of minutes, those last possessions to cut what was once a 10-point lead, now only down to three? You know, aside from what we were talking about, about them pushing the pace, pushing the ball. It's really their defense that's been really tightening up, forcing many turnovers against the Blue Eagles. And that's where they got their confidence. That's why they're also making their baskets. Well, they're making and stringing together a good quality runs here as Ikea could have cut the lead down to one, misses it that time. And Ateneo now with the ball. That ball right back in his hands. Ball loose. Oh, like the man gets freed up with a spin. But UP grabs the rebound. The Bombanoa with a fadeaway jumper. Can't get that one to fall, but there will be free throws along the way. If if that shot went in, I probably would have lost my mind here. <laughs> you probably would have slipped up, Kobe. <laughs> Gerald, we talked about earlier on the size of Chris Porter being seniors ready. Uh, but based from what you've seen from all of these players, from everything from the UP side to the Ateneo side, who, who looks the most UA three seniors ready from these from these uh, from these guys? Because there's a lot of uh, talent and a lot of moves that we've seen that we probably only see in, in, the, in the seniors division. That's right, I was gonna talk about Kobe, how these guys are so much more talented, so much more athletic than during our time. And to your question, I, I, I would like to say that it, Valdivia looks like he's, he's seniors ready with the moves he's, he's doing, with you know his, the pace of his game and how he sets up his teammates. Oh, there's a level of maturity to this game and surely Valdia Villa has it. We'll see how he leads his team here. They are down by one after the two free throws from Tubong Banoa. Shot blocked at the rim by Gomez de Leano. So you look at that. Asistio being aggressive but met at the rim by Jaime GDL. Another opportunity here for Ateneo. And a three second ball on the Blue Eagles. That's gonna go UP side. So the fight the junior fighting balloons are really, really forcing so many turnovers this quarter for, for the Blue Eagles. Egea has that ball stripped away. Ateneo pushing. Espinas. Looking for his teammates. They get it inside to Asistio. Asistio kicks it out. Corner three on the way, and that's good for Derek Domancas. Much needed basket there by Domancas. Finally ending that UPIS run. Gea drives Jaime GDL with a nice mid-range jumper. Gets it to fall. Looking strong for Jaime GDL reminds us of his older brother Javi. A similar form, I'm sure Javi has been teaching him a thing or two, especially before this season. 
And another rebound for Jaime. But a big difference compared to his brother is that he, he can get those rebounds. Oh, nice move on the inside by Nathan Egea. And that ties this game at 46. Like the men inside to Espinas. Espinas gets blocked by Egea, but there is a foul called. And that's going to mean free throws. If you look at that spin move off to that floater by Egea. What a nice speed. That's, that's not something that's really common amongst boys to do. But Egea just showing that he can play like a man. Egea, that was just his fourth basket. But he does have eight assists and five, five, uh, excuse me, eight rebounds and five assists already. And it's just the first half, Kobe. So really a lot of promise and a lot of talent on both of these squads. We're seeing it earlier on. It's just game number one, <laughs> opening game of this season's junior division. Espinas makes the second free throw, but it will... Basket will not count for Espinas as the lane violation is called on him. And UP now with the ball. They're only down by two. Zumbainwa. Zumbainwa with a spin move and a fadeaway jumper. And just like that, UPIS takes the lead. De La Santos using that screen. Gets it on the inside. That ball stolen by UP. Here's Valdia Villa can get that one to fall. And rebound to Ateneo. Here's Urbina with it. Espinas bumps, gets the bank shot in to go. Sweet move there from Ziv Espinas. Creating that contact there to get his space, then finishing using the offhand. Pull up three by Tubong Banua, can't get it to fall. Here's Urbina now for Ateneo. Handoff here by the Blue Eagles. Three falls for Henry Madranca. And just like that, a quick 5-0 run by the Blue Eagles to get back the lead, and now they're up by four. Final shot here for UP, but that'll be stepping at the line was Rocco Melicor and UP will turn it over. Ateneo has 1.2 on the game clock. Espinas looking, kicks it up ahead. Turnaround jumper at the buzzer. No good that time by De Guzman, and that'll be it for the first half. So high intensity defense, even faster and higher paced offense here in the first half, Jarrell. But break down what happened here in the second quarter with the Fighting Maroons rallied back. What an intense first half we have here with a lot of ex basket exchanges, but it's really the UP Junior Fighting Maroons controlling the game, you know, with their assists, with them running the break, them forcing turnovers, but Ateneo just ending the quarter with a 5-0 run. That was enough to give the Blue Eagles a four-point lead here. The Junior Fighting Maroons looking to rally back again in the third. We'll, be, we'll have the third for you when we return. We're here at halftime where the Ateneo Blue Eagles are up 52 to 48 against the UPIS Fighting Maroons, Junior Fighting Maroons. A four-point lead here for Ateneo. As you check out the halftime stats here, Gerald, what stands out for you to how this Blue Eagle team has made it or has uh, continued to keep the gap from this uh, Junior Fighting Maroons? Right, as you see right now, we see the three-point field goals for both teams. Eight made already for the Ateneo Blue Eagles, while four for the UPIS ju Junior Fighting Maroons. And that's already big. That's at least 12-point 12 uh, 12 difference. But 
we, we we've been talking about how the Blue Eagles have been sharing the ball a lot more compared to the to the Junior Fighting Maroons, 17 to 11 in terms of assists. But it's really the rebounds that's been a big difference for the Blue Eagles. That's why they're they're up. They they're controlling the boards. 30 compared to just 19 for the UPI squad. Well, that eight three pointer is by Ateneo really hurt UP in that first half. But for the Fighting Maroons, there have been some surprises in terms of who has been leading the helm for them in terms of scoring. How impressive has Bruce Tubongbanwa been for the Junior Fighting Maroons? Bruce Tubongbanwa has really, really been aggressive, really stepping up for the UPIS squad. Already ha scoring 16 points in the first half to go around with two rebounds and three assists. Really helping Valdiv Villa in the offensive side. Uh, meanwhile, on the Ateneo side, Ziv Espinas has continued, has, has cemented himself now as one of the key guys to look out for for this Blue Eagles team. As you see, the leading scorers, Ateneo Blue Eagles, leaning on Ziv Espinas with six points, third Ebdane with six points, and Uno Prado with six points. Really a balanced scoring for the Blue Eagles as compared to the UPIS Junior Fighting Maroons, Bruce. Tubong Bano with 16, Daryl Val Valdevilla with 13, and Rojo Melicor with 7. Well, Ziv Espinas, to go along with those points, already has 9 rebounds in the first half. The absence of Christian Porter in that first half has really helped Ziv Espinas get some light and shine some light on, on himself. So UP, Valdevilla, and the junior fighting Maroons are going to look to try and stop him here in the third quarter. Third quarter action coming to you as the fighting the junior fighting maroons will have possession here. We are awaiting the opening possession. And don't look now, Kobe. We see Chris Porter alongside Espinas to start off for the Blue Eagles. Well, I think Ateneo has seen enough from Ziv Espinas in that first half to start him here in the third and seen a lot of Christian Porter in uh, season 85 to know that they're gonna work very very well but UP gets things going very early with a three from Tubong Banoa that's his third of the game three out of seven from a three-point field Tubong Banoa continuing where he left off in the first half Oh, but Ateneo answers right back with a three from Ebdane. Third Ebdane just answering that Punong Banwa three-point shot. A hot start, Kobe, for both teams. Valdia Villa fell on the floor, managed to get back up, gets it to Tubong Banwa. That shot is no good. And Ateneo now with possession. Ebdane gets called for the travel, and that's gonna be UP's ball. Now, despite that turnover, that's only the 10th turnover of the game for, for Ateneo. Both teams actually doing a very good job at keeping the ball on their side. Ball in the hands now of the Blue Eagles, Ebdane looking for his teammates. Dane inside the Porter. Gomez Daniano had the last piece on that one, and that's going to be Ateneo's ball with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Coach Paolo deciding to go to a 2-3 zone to start off this second half for the Junior Fighting Maroons, and that's because he saw how big this Blue Eagle squad is with both Espinas and Porter. As we saw in that possession, Espinas using his size inside for that easy basket. Little give and go from the big man from the Blue Eagles. Rocco Melicor can get that three to drop. And here come the Blue Eagles. Urbina gets it to Ebdane. Chris Porter open, floats it up. No go. Rebound to Tubong Banoa. Daryl Valdiavilla working. Oh, with a crossover, but that's stolen by Porter. A little too fast there for Valdiavilla. Even he couldn't handle his own speed off of that move. Ebdane inside to Porter. Porter finding the cut in Lagdamen. Nice passing here by the Blue Eagles. And Espinas finishes it off with a floater in the lane. Really nice to see how the Blue Eagles are really moving the ball around. 
really looking for that easy shot. Tora can't get the bucket on the other end. Abdani now with possession. Porter from downtown. Bang, bang. And just like that, the Blue Eagles are up by 11. Off of a string of runs here, topping off by this three from Chris Porter. Chris Porter, a good trail job there. You know, that's what coaches always say. Reward your bigs for trailing hard. Well, Ateneo now with an 11-point lead as we take a break. Well, the UPIS Junior Fighting Maroons find themselves down by 11 here off of a 10-0 run by Chris Porter and the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Gerald, how has Ateneo just come out in this third quarter and opened the floodgates on the Junior Fighting Maroons? It's really expected for the Blue Eagles to really start the quarter strong. So they're really, I I'm sure, the, the coaching staff back at the halftime really told the boys that we gotta pick up, we gotta, we gotta keep the energy high. These junior fighting maroons are showing us that they want it more, but we gotta fight back. And that's exactly what they're doing at the start of the second half. 62-51, our score here. Back-to-back -back turnovers from the teams, which leads to possession now for UP. Fighting Maroons gonna rely heavily on Daryl Valdevilla as this game progresses. It's Agea with the ball. Corner triple on the way. No good that time for UP. Ateneo with it. Urbina pushing the pace. Urbina going all the way to the basket. No. Chris Porter with the rebound. Urbina fires for three. No go. Chris Porter offensive board. Ball might have slipped out of his hands. A foul called on the floor. The Blue Eagles are really pushing the ball and being aggressive. And just you know, controlling the boards, looking for their shots. And that's exactly what they need to do to keep up with the energy of the junior fighting Maroons. You see a smaller lineup at, at their disposal. But like you have alluded to earlier in this game, Gerald, it's that speed and energy that they need to take advantage of. And Chris Porter taking full advantage of his size and his height on the inside as he gets the two to go. <laughs> oh, and Egea over Chris Porter. A quick answer there by Egea. You know, getting that off Chris Porter. That's, that's a tough shot. Egea now with six points in the ball game. Like the men. Oh, nice pass to the cutting Espina, who finishes it off just as nicely at the rim. We've been talking a lot about Lagdameno setting up his teammate, and that was another one there for his fifth assist of the ball of the ball game. So we look at that pick and roll action, off to a great pass for the easy lay in for Espina. These guys have such talent. Textbook. Textbook offense for the Blue Eagles as Hernandez takes a seat for UP. They are down here by 13. Ateneo taking full advantage of the run here in the third quarter. The Porter, double team. And Porter gets fouled. David, the UPIS has been really doubling Chris Porter off the post. A quick double right away. And Chris Porter, being the selfless guy he is, is just really sharing the ball right away, looking for an open teammate. And Chris Porter knowing very well that a lot of players on this team, like Sivis Pinas. What a game so far for this young kid, playing in his first ever UAAP season. Acrobatic finish. Wow. <laughs> at the top of the rim, and he's asking for it again. Ebdane, oh, that's Chris Porter who gets called for the foul. Look at that inbound play, off to Zip Espinas. Acrobatic offhand lay-in. Uh, Zip Espinas has just continued to make our jaws drop here in this game 
He's now up to 15 points to go along with 12 boards. Really introducing himself in the UAP scene and living up to his dad's name, son of a PBA player, Gabby Espinas. It's in the blood, in the I blood. guess. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of talent, there's a lot of skill set already being shown by Espinas. And that's going to be big for Ateneo as they try to get back into that final four fight this year. Manicor is double teamed and he is fouled now by Espinas and that's going to be his third. Not, not really a good sight for Ateneo with two of their top big men in foul, in foul trouble with three fouls each. Porter and Espinas now with three apiece. And third, Ebdane still with two. And some substitutions for Ateneo as Derek Domancas checks in the game for them. It's a 15 point lead for the Blue Eagles, 68 to 53. And they have just trampled here on the junior fighting Maroons, Gerald, in this third quarter. Just really um, striking their dominance over UPIS. And finally, a much needed basket for Valdivilla to stop the Blue Eagle run. Well, if there's any guy you want to get hot for this junior fighting Maroons team, it's Daryl Valdivilla, who is now up to 16 points. All right, Kobe, you want your leader to you know, get hot and try to get you back in the game. Well, Valdia Villa averaged just about 14 a game in season 85. He's already beaten that here in game number one of season 86. I mean, look at that. Confidence by Valdia Villa there, bringing the ball down, saying that it's my time, I need to take over, my team's down, sinking that three. Now, you talked about having good habits with your shot and your shot selection. Any good habits uh, that you see from uh, Daryl Valdevilla's shot? It's really how his shooting mechanic is so smooth. It's really one motion. He doesn't like hold it back. His follow through straight. He uses his legs to get his, his power up for, uh, for his shot. So smooth looking stroke for the young kid. Well, UP finding a little signs of life here have cut the lead down to 11. Porter handoff to Suiko. Romancas tried to get it inside to Porter and Valdia Villa will run. Egea bumps foul. Nope, it's going to be an offensive foul called on Egea. Got caught using his offhand there for Egea. Unfortunately for Coach Paolo, that's Egea's fourth personal foul. And that's something you want if you're UP, one of your top rebounders and playmakers now out of the game here in the third quarter. That's right, Kobe, uh, Ethan Egea, sorry, already has six points, eight rebounds, and five assists. Chris Porter battling his way on the inside. Over two defenders, gets that one to fall. Chris Porter slowly getting his groove in, in this third quarter. A 13 point lead for Ateneo as Valdia Villa drains it from downtown. <laughs> Valdia Villa saying that if Chris Porter can score, I can too. You know, these two leaders going at it in this quarter. Well, that was all the way back from Diliman. As UP has now cut it down to 10. Domancas can get that shot to go. Chris Porter inside. Gets whacked on his way, and that'll mean free throws for Chris Porter. As we, as we look at this replay, pick and roll action for Melikor. Passes to Valdivilla, and he deciding to shoot, sinking it. For his second three of the second of the third quarter. And it seems like the shot selection from Valdia Villa just keeps going farther and farther away now from the basket. 
three triples for Daryl Valdiavilla as Chris Porter is at the line for Ateneo. The Blue Eagles shooting their 15 and 16 free throws now of the game. They string together a couple of runs, went on a 10 and 0 run here in the third. But UP slowly answering here in the third quarter. Chris Porter now with nine points in the game. And that's to go with 10 rebounds already, including seven on the offensive end. Triple on the way, no good that time for the junior fighting Maroons and Ateneo with it. Domancas open for three, in and out. Battle for the rebound, it's won here by Valdiavilla who continues to push it up pace. Valdiavilla gets blocked, but he recovers. Fade away Jay, no good. Valdiavilla another try, decides to drive, pull up for two and he is fouled as he went up for the jump shot. So that's gonna mean free throws on the way for Daryl Valdiavilla. Valdiavilla, the leader of the junior fighting Maroons, really just taking over for them in this sport. We're looking for consistency. He has been it for the junior fighting Maroons. 19 points to go along with four rebounds and four assists. And he's shooting his fifth and sixth free throws of the morning. And Valdiavilla continues to stay perfect at the line. Six for six now at the free throw. He cuts the lead down to 10. Three no good that time, but it's recovered by Suiko. Nobody there to cover him up. Just landing on his hands there. Easy basket. Vladia Vilia. Kicks it out to Melikor. Melikor with the ball in his hands. 10 seconds to shoot here for UP. And that is blocked by Domancas. Domancas has great anticipation skills. He blocked. Valdivilla early the earlier on on the fast break and now having getting that other block on Melikor. Domancas really establishing his presence on the inside. And Ateneo now has a lot of players in that front court that can really, you know, protect and get points at the rim. That's right, Toby. So aside from Espinas and Porter, they have the likes of Domancas to cover up for them. There's a nest of uh, very skillful bigs on that Athenaeum team. Foul is called now on the Blue Eagles. Suiko gets called on that one, so Jaime GDL will step to the line. Gomez Deliano makes the first. UP will be there shooting their 19th and 20, 20th free throws of the game. This is the second, but an offensive rebound here goes to UP. Valdiavilla for three, too strong there. Domancas skies in for that rebound. 74 to 63 is our score. About a minute to go here in the third quarter. Shot on the inside, no good by Ateneo. UP will push it down. Valdiavilla drives. Valdiavilla with the reverse. Gets it up and in for the deuce. What can Valdivilla not do? He can get those hard baskets, do a pull up, hit the three. He's doing it everything for the junior fighting Maroons today. Uh, if you would search a Swiss Army knife on the internet, I think there's a picture of Daryl Valdivilla right up there. He now has 22. Valdivilla, heat check. With the rebound. 
Still a nine point lead here for the Blue Eagles. Suiko will drive, Suiko gets bumped, Suiko loses the rock. Chance at the final shot here in the quarter. Darrell Valdiavilla crosses over, fakes, kicks it to Jaime Gomez de Leano, can't get it to fall. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. So after the run, the early 10-0 run by Ateneo to start off the third quarter, UP has fought their way back here. It's a nine-point lead still for Ateneo, Jarrell, as we head into the fourth quarter. Two Eagles off to a really, really hot start to start the second half, really showing their dominance inside. Of course, we saw a lot of great baskets by the likes of Espinas, but of course, Valdivilla always looking to charge for the for the UPIS squad, really hitting his shots both from outside and inside, but really, the Ateneo Blue Eagles off to that really, really hot start. That's why they have a nine-point lead to end the third quarter. Uh, the, fight, the junior fighting Maroons looking to answer in the fourth. We'll be back with it in a bit. Start of the fourth quarter here at the Amaranta Sports Complex. Final 10 minutes of play between the UPIS Junior Fighting Maroons and the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Kobe Dio here on the panel joined by Jarrell Lim. And Jarrell, it's been Ateneo, all Ateneo in that third quarter, but UP finding some light courtesy of Darrell Valdeavilla. That's right, Dar Darrell Valdeavilla, the leader. He really said that it's time to take over, and that's exactly what he did in that third quarter. Already with 23 points in the game, well, they have to close out the Blue Eagles here, who have been shooting red hot from downtown. And Ateneo will have possession here with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Shot no good in the corner there by Madranca. And here is Rocco Melicor for UP. Pulls up from downtown. That's offline. And Luck the Man will bring it down. Oh, Luck the Man loses his defender. Corner three on the way for Prado. And that's no good. Melicor is pushing. Melicor drives, puts it up, gets the lay in to fall, and cuts the lead down to seven. Melicor trying to help out Valdevilla here. Being aggressive to start the fourth quarter, he's been trying to look for his three-point shot, but realizing he's not making it, going strong to that basket. And that's something that UP has continued to do time and time again in this game, pushing it down court whenever an opportunity arises, and they make most of that opportunity with a steal here. Valdevilla with a burst of speed. <laughs> Lays it in, counted, plus the foul. Valdevilla, wow, this guy. Look at that nasty crossover using his speed advantage off to that end one basket. Amazing Kobe. <laughs> yeah, he just has a sense of maturity and level to his game that could fit any, any league or any team. That's right, Kobe, and his pace. Like, he was bringing the, down the ball a little bit slow, then suddenly hit that crossover, then just speeding up to the basket. And most importantly, that three-point opportunity cuts this Ateneo lead down to four. Valdia Villa now with 26 in the game. They get it inside to Porter. Porter double team, stolen by UP. Valdia Villa will run. And Valdeavilla gets fouled. This is exactly what UPIS did back in that second quarter. Creating stops, bringing the energy in, and pushing the ball. That's why right now, they're just down by four. And that has forced the hand of the Blue Eagles as we will take a timeout. On well, the Ateneo Blue Eagles, Jarrell, need to find some answers to the questions that this UPIS Junior Fighting Maroons have been asking. 
They have cut leads time and time again, but no more important than here in the fourth quarter. Now only down to a four-point lead. What a time for them, Bobby. Fourth quarter. This time is really crucial for both teams. UP will reset. Ball in the hands of Rocco Melicor. Coronel fake the three. Three on the way for UP. That's no good. Off a timeout. The Blue Eagles deciding to go to a 2-3 zone to just try to disrupt the offense, which really worked for them in that possession. They go inside the Porter. Espinas. Now to Urbina. Porter, top of the key, three. No good. And a foul called underneath, a grab. It's going to stay with Ateneo. That's Rocco Melicor who gets called for the foul. Egea now will check back into the game. Had some foul trouble earlier on. He is back here for the Junior Fighting Maroons. And UP gets a steal quickly here. Valdiavilla for three. Bang, bang! <laughs> Valdiavilla! What a game! Now they're just down by one after that big three by Valdivilla, and now he has 29 points to this ball game. Oh, Chris Porter though answering right back. But what about Darrell Valdivilla who has scored 29 points and four triples for the junior fighting maroons? Coronel couldn't handle the pass from Gomez Deliano. And that's going to be a turnover for UP. Great back and forth here, Gerald, between these two squads from Katipunan. And it's just the first game in this UAP Juniors season. And what a game we have here so far. Lots of energy, lots of back and forth. I can't wait to see how this game ends. <laughs> A three-point lead for Ateneo. And a hot-handed Darrell Valdiavilla on UP side. And this is going to be interesting to how to watch these teams play out and how they try to close out each other. Look at that transition. Pull up three. The confidence you have to have just to even attempt that. But that's no problem for Valdivia. But an easy answer for Chris Porter. Ateneo looking at their leader to stop that run. So the teams are setting in their lineups before we inbound. Before we inbound the ball. Referees are reviewing a play. So the officials have come to an agreement. I've reviewed the call that shot earlier by Daryl Valdiavilla. You see their foot on the line. Now that'll count as a two-pointer. Great call and great review by the referees there. We'll never know where tho those points might play a big factor in this ball game. Well, we're about the halfway mark here in the fourth. We'll know in just a little bit. But Ebdani, that was for sure a three as he was well behind the line for Ateneo, a seven-point lead right back up here for the Blue Eagles. Colby sinking it in, talking about Evdane there. He knew it was going in after taking it. Shot on the other end by Gomez Deliano is no good. Here's Porter. Inside to Espinas. Finding Urbina open for three. That's good! And just like that, the Blue Eagles 
off of back-to-back -back threes have made it a 10-point lead. As we head into this, uh, check out this replay here first, Jairo. Look at that, back-to-back -back setups by Ziv Espinas. They were looking to double him, and him realizing it, really just sharing the ball, kicking it out, looking for his open teammates, trusting them, and then and his teammates are paying the trust back. Urbina holding it, forcing UP into a timeout. Daryl Valdia Villa and the UP Junior Fighting Maroons uh, find themselves down by 10 here off of back to back triples from the Ateneo Blue Eagles. And Ateneo, as they've done all throughout this game, Gerald, has answered everything that UP has had. They always have an answer <laughs> for, for, for the runs that the UPIS has been doing. But let's see how they can sustain that throughout this ball game. Coronel can't get that three to drop. And the Blue Eagles with possession. Like the man sets up Espinas nicely on the inside. And it's a 12 point lead now for Ateneo. Just the playmaking ability of Lagda Man is really, really impressive. He's been setting up his teammates. And just like that, another stop by the Blue Eagles. Off to that layup by Espinas. Well, Espinas continues the impressive run that he's had here for Ateneo. He has 17. Break down what happened here, Gerald. Great hustle there by Evdane. Diving for the ball, forcing that turnover off to that Espinas fast break play. Well, UP not liking what they see as they now take a timeout. A 14-point lead for Ateneo, 86 to 72. As we wind, as we approach the halfway mark here in the fourth quarter. Gerald, break down what Ateneo has done to break this uh, UP defense to get to a 14-point lead. They really looked for their big man down low, especially to Espinas, because they knew that whenever the ball's down low, it attracts a double team, creating open teammates. So Espinas being selfless there, you know, just kicking the ball out to the open teammate and them hitting back-to-back -back three pointers there. That's where it all started. And eventually they, they got their energy there, forcing turnovers. No doubt an impressive rookie debut from Sim Espinas. That time, handing it off to Chris Porter for his six assists of the game. Impressive, impressive stat line for Espinas. We're just doing it everywhere. Rebounds, assists, points, you name it. Melikor on the other end scores for UP, cuts the lead to 14. UP gets a steal. Egea will run, and a foul on Ateneo. That'll stop the break here for UP. Good duty foul there for Lagdamen. As we look at that setup of Espinas, really just throwing all the defense, then giving it off to Porter and an answer there by Melikor. Melikor's floater game is really something. He's been doing it since the first half. He's been getting some great opportunities off of that floater as well. Some end one opportunities we saw earlier on. And Egea there also setting up Jaime GDL for that easy lay-in. Gomez Eliano now with nine points in the game. And Egea with six assists. Look at that tough wrap wraparound pass. Probably Jaime GDL's easiest basket of the ball game. UP looking to string together some runs in the final 340 in this game. Melikor starts off that run with a nice move to the basket there. Melikor showing his, his skill work there. Getting away from his defender as Lagdamen saying, if you can do it, I can do it too. Back and forth we go. Answers everywhere from these two squads as Urbina fouls Melikor. Look at that. Great escape 
for that delay and over Espinas, but like the man saying, I can do that too. Escaping Egea's defense for that easy lay in, no, rather tough lay in for Urbina. Before, to Gomez Deliani. Coronel for three. That's offline. Espinas grabs the rebound. That's his 15th of the game. Good stop by Ateneo there. And they're really trying to prevent the ball to go to the hands of Valdivilla. Really denying him the ball. Holding foul now called on Jaime Gomez and Iano. Still some time here, Gerald, for UP. But time is very, very much ticking for them. Porter to Urbina, finds three. The three is good for third, Emdane. And Ateneo continues to pour it on here on the junior fighting Maroons. Wow, look at that. Off an inbound play set up. Great screen by Porter, off to that three-point shot by Emdane. His third of the ball game and the 13th. Or Ateneo. And you can't help but smile after that one, just like Terry Debdani did on that end. Shot no good by Valdia Villa. Melikor pulls up from downtown. Offline, Ebdane will bring it down. Great decision there to, to pull back the ball and set up your offense for Ebdane. To the cutting pointer. Shot no good by Chris. And Hyman now with the ball. Valdivilla gets fouled on the floor. And that's going to go on Ateneo. UPIS needs to make their run here. Time is not on their side with two, minu two minutes left in the ball game. And Ateneo has really capitalized on the lanes that UP has been giving them and they have really made the most of, of the, the points of the turnovers as well. Look at that, Kobe. 27 assists for Ateneo. That's really high for any basketball game at any level. So they're really doing a great job at distributing that rock. And this is a team that, like what we were talking about, have a lot of holdovers from last season. So they've had that time to gel and connect with each other during the offseason. How important is that, Gerald, for a team like Ateneo? It's really important because it builds your chemistry, right? You've been playing so many games together, especially during the offseason, that it builds your confidence to one another. And that's what, that's, that's what we're seeing in this game. Urbina can't get that three to drop, but another offensive rebound here for Ateneo. Domancas can't get the three to go. Porter with another offensive rebound and a jump ball called. And it'll go to UP. And look at the rebounding battle so far. 61 rebounds for Ateneo. 20 offensive as compared to UPIS with just 31 total rebounds. And aside from that, the bench points. 43 for Ateneo compared to just two for UPIS. It shows how deep this Ateneo team can be as compared to UPIS. And that's the, the great teamwork and chemistry that we were alluding to, the assists setting up your teammates help very well when you can when you have you know a pool of talent that this Ateneo team has they're seconds away from their first victory of the season and an opening day victory for the Blue Eagles as Ebdane fires up another three cannot get it to fall Valdea Villa with the ball here Ikea for UP puts it up And the basket will count. There's a blocking foul called on Ateneo. Look at that. Egea 
getting the contact and still finishing that basket. Tough, tough shot. But it might be a little too late at this point, Kobe. What are the silver linings, though, if you are the junior fighting Maroons, Gerald, that you can take away from this game and carry it, carry it on into your next one? There are a lot of bright spots, Kobe, for the UPIS squad. They, they, they see a lot of talent in them with Valdevilla, of course, Tubong Banwa, Egea, Melikor, all of them really showcase their talent in this game. But aside from that, it's their defense and their, their just their pure grit wanting to win the ball game, bringing the energy in. And that's what they can bring for the rest of the season. Well, they'll rely heavily on the guys you mentioned, but especially Valdia Villa and Tubong Banwa, who have had 50 of the 83 points that this Fighting Maroons team have scored here. Another jump ball called, which means possession for UP. But the Blue Eagles showing a lot of grit in this game and a lot of well executed plays as well as Melikor drains it from way downtown cutting the lead down to seven uh, like you mentioned Gerald might be a little bit too late as time expires and the Ateneo Blue Eagles will take the opening day victory against the UPIS Junior Fighting Maroons 93 to 86 is our score and Ateneo just really had a good string of runs there Gerald to pull away against this UP team what a great first game we have for to start off the UAP junior season with Ateneo Blue Eagles and UPIS going at it and it's really a back and forth game although the Blue Eagles you know got the, got the better of the UPIS squad we can't say it's a dominant victory for them it was a tight ball game, lots of back and forth. They always had answers, and we saw the energy that the fighting, junior fighting Maroons brought in, but you got to give a lot of credit to the Blue Eagles, especially to Steve Espinas. Look at that stat line for his very, very first game of his UAB Junior's career. 19 points, 15 rebounds, 6, six assists, but more than that, 8 out of 9 from the field, Kobe. A high efficiency and a high level of skill set from Ziv Espinas. He is our player of the game. What a way to open up your UAP, UAP Juniors basketball career. Ninth, a double-double and only missing one field goal as well. Overall, missed only three shots if you count the three, the two missed free throws, Gerald. That's right, Kobe. And more than that, he's plus 29 for the Blue Eagles. So it just shows how efficient he is for the Blue Eagles whenever he's on the floor. You know, really just sharing the ball to his teammates, getting those rebounds in, and that's why he earned the player of the game honors. Well, really the catalyst for this uh, Ateneo team all throughout the game. The young big man from the Blue Eagles will take home player of the game honors for game number one. But we still have three more games on the slate and it's and up next it'll be the FEU the time Bay Samaras up against the NU Nazareth School Bull Pups for game number two. On behalf of my partner Jared Lee, my name is Kobe Dial. We'll see you later for more UAP Juniors action.